In the past, agriculture was done on subsistence basis. And because of the low population, there was no pressure for food production. People fed on what the land gave them. Today, because of the increase in population pressure, you need to produce more food on less land. In Kenya, because of the water availability challenges, food productivity is dependent on rain-fed agricultural land. 17% of total land mass in Kenya is suitable for agriculture. 90% of this arable land is under rain-fed agriculture. And already 98% of this land is utilized. The need to maximize the productivity of every seed planted makes it necessary for the farmer to use appropriate technologies such as the planters that we are featuring today. Planters help farmers to reduce yield limiting challenges by giving them uniform seed placement and correct plant population. Ever wondered why your maize produce was lower than expected? Let's hear it from the experts to tell us the do's and don'ts in order to attain maximum harvest. Today, I am in Nakuru County to talk about this very important process, the planter calibration. Welcome to Nkolimatek. Let me introduce you to the Boldan planter. And this is a maize planter. We have, we have uh, several types of planters. We have seed drills right through to planting maize. This, this planter will, will plant any seed uh, from three millimeters up to about 15 millimeters. Um, it's a mechanical planter, so it's driven from, from the ground forwards and it also applies fertilizer at the same time. Um, using a mechanized uh, solution to planting your crop gives you consistency um, and, and with this planter we, we get the right uh, seed placement uh, to allow us to, to have the depth and the distance in the row. All of the things that a planter will give you is, is a, an increase in yield. Now, from going from hand planting to, to mechanized planting, if we concentrate on something like maize, you should see a fourfold increase. Um, and today in the Rift Valley, we're, we're averaging nine to 11 uh, bags of maize per, per acre um, with, a, with a, uh, uh, a mechanized planter like this, a mechanical planter we're seeing up to 40 bags um, an acre being produced by, by moving to, to, to mechanization. Yes, yes. Salama sana nani? Eh, sitko salama. Okay, mimi naitwa Gilbert Kiroi. Ah, asante sana. Yeah, so nilikuwa na nataka kukuonyesha pinde. Eh eh. Hii calibration nafanywa kwa hii planta yetu, Paldan. Tunaanza wapi? Yes. So, tunaanza na taya. Tunataka na kuangalia taya pressure kwa kwanza kwa taya zote mbili, left and right hand side ndio tuweze ku, kupata uh, same uh, pressure ili ni wese tupate uh, circumference same circumference kwa pande zote mbili hapa 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 na hapa so wakati tuangalia mhm mm wakati tuangalia lazima tukue na lazima tukue na tire pressure ndio tuweze kuangalia kwa wakati ya kulima ama kupanda tunataka na kukua na PSI karibu 17 so lazima tukua na 17 pande hii PSI ni nini hiyo ni kipimo ya upepo ile inaingia ndani ya ya tire so tunataka na 17 pande zote mbili ndio tukua na same height ya tractor 
baada ya kumaliza hiyo hili tafanyika kama system height hili tafanyika kwa hiyo sisi hili kitu tafanyika ni uh, atuta kwa na same height kwa planta because mta ingine kiyo na pressure mnyingi itakuwa juu sana kuliko ya panda mungine na wakati tutafanya calibration tunataka na kukua na same height kwa tractor Aha. so baada ya kumaliza hapo tunataka na kuangalia nini Unataka na kuangalia lift arms. Lift arms ya tinga, lazima stoshan. Kama ni centimeter sitina moja, lazima ikue centimeter sitina moja, pande hii. Ya. Diopia, diopia, tuta maintain nini? Height. Baada ya kumaliza hapo, tunataka na kukua na nini? Tunataka na kuset tulpa ya kushikilia machine na attachment kwa tractor. So lazima tukue na hii tulba ikue fatiko. <coughs> to adjust mast ikue kwa fatiko angu. Ili tuwese kuchesea. Tuwe na, tu, tuwe na linkage. Tuwese ku, ku float kwa mchanga. Nasa na hii? So hii ni top link ambaye tuna, tuna adjust mpaka tupate iyo ikuwe 90 degrees iyo tulpa tukisha malisa hapo tu paulo tumapata na umuimu wezi kamba ni nini? umuimu waise uh, kamba ni wakati tutafanya kwa just maka maali ya kuchwa kupitia safari ya pili baada ya kupanda so adjustment ni tunafanya huko hizi ni za kwa lavu kufungua na kufunga yeah so tukishamaliza hapo tutatumia uh, manual manual tumepatia formula hapa ni d is equals to e uh, times times bracket n, n okay. plus 1 mm -hmm. bracket close minus b over 2 Ya, yeah. so spacing mm -hmm. between rows kwa hii planta yetu ni 75 centimeters. Na, na hiyo 75 tunapata aji. So 75 hii tunapata, tunakuja tunaesa pima. So tunakuja tunafuata hapa, tuna, tunakuta ni centimeter sapini na saba. Sapini na tano. Ya, yeah. so uta mita hiyo. So hiyo ni D. Ya, yeah, zikuwa so 75. 75 yeah and mm -hmm. it's number of rows mhm mm hii planta yetu ni 2 row 1 2 ah so mhm hapa usura unaweka 2 mhm minus uh, plus 1 plus 1 yeah mm -hmm. bracket n minus, minus b b, mm -hmm. b ni distance between front tires so kwa tire za mbele ya tractor mm -hmm. mali itapitia tutapima kutoka katikati hapa kutoka katikati mpaka katikati inakuja ngapi hii ni 150 cm so utaandika hapo b 150 cm divided by 2 so divided by 2 uh, so acha nifanye manually 75 times 3 15 carry 1 yeah. So mm -hmm. our D mm -hmm. itatoka kutoka center of first row mm -hmm. So kutoka hapa mpaka mpaka hapa Yo tunataka hiyo Oh hapa that 7.5 Yeah So kumanisha hii tupandisha Yeah Calibration sasa ni hiyo ya ku, kupungusa mbegu ama kuongeza mbegu ama kupungusa mbolea ama, kuongea. ama kuongeza mbolea ah. kulingana na report ya agronomist uh -huh. hmm? so machine tunaweza set ipande mahindi mbegu ya maragwe mbegu ya soya lakini sasa tunaendelea kusumeze ya yeah. hii planta hii inafanya hiyo kasi yote lakini sasa sasa hii tunaongea kuhusu mahindi so mahindi drive ya hii machine inaanza na hii wheel ya 
uko nyuma hapa so main drive inatoka kwa hii wheel ini press wheel besides kukua ni main drive ni press wheel ya kufunika nini ya close mbegu so drive inatoka hapa wakati tinga itakuwa inaenda mbele na hapa ndiyo transmission hapa tuko na chain pande hii tuko na hii chain tuko na main drive hapa na hapa tuko na uh, driven sprocket hapa pia pand hii tuko na drive ya nini ya ya mbolea na tuko na driven ya ya kufanya calibration hapa so hizi gear sote hizi sitakupatia dispensing uh, quantities Sasa abuache tu calibrate sasa. Okay. So wakati tumemaliza kufanya calibration uh, raw marker ndio tuweze kupata second pass mahali tutapanda mahindi na kuweka mbolea. Tunarudi kwa Uh, calibration ya sasa ya mbegu na mbolea so ile parua ya kutoka kwa soil sampling kwa agronomist ndio ita determine ile uh, setting tutafanya kwa kuweka gear ndio tuweze kupata mahindi mbegu kiasi gani kwa mita moja sababu sampling inatokana na ile urutupa ya mchanga kama bado iko mzuri ama inahitaji tuweke mbolea mingi ama inahitaji tu tupunguze mbegu so zile vitu tutapatilisha na magia ambaye ina peana inaweka inapatilisha speed ya kupeana mbegu ama kupunguza mbegu ile inawekwa chini so vitu ambavyo tutapatilisha tunapatilisha magia ambazo ndio hizi magia hizo zinapeanwa wakati mashini na uso wa kiu uh, mpya set of gears zinapeanwa ndio uweze kupanda ile mbegu ambazo una unayo una, una, una so hapa kwa hii uh, planta yetu tuko na uh, gear kwa main drive ambaye iko na meno uh, nane na hapa kwa driven tuko na meno 12 hii hapa ni setting up si ati ni actual ambaye ni ile tunatumia kupanda ile mahindi so hapa kulingana na ile kitabu ile tuko nayo ya uh, manufacturers uh, manual oh, sorry sorry kwa ile kia tuko nazo kwa machine size tuko na meno nane ambayo ni mota A na mota P so tuko na meno nane na meno 12 so hiyo itatupatia mbe, itaangushia sisi mbegu ine ama tano kwa hiyo mita moja yeah. nimeshika hapo ni sawa <laughs> eh? eh, hapo iko sawa so hapo basi ba, tumemaliza nini tumemaliza maneno ya calibration kwa laini ya kwanza. So laini ya pili tutafanya vile vile ndio tuweze kupanya kupata nini? Tupata constant uh, mahindi ambayo inapandwa. So hii gear tutakuwa nayo namba nane hapa, tutaweka kwa main drive pale namba nane Meno huko tutaweka 12 na 12 ndio tuweze kupata uniformity kwa laini. Inapeleka seed plate ina ina, ina, ina drive ni main drive pande hii. So hapa tuko na sprocket nyingine na tuko nayo pia wape tuko nayo hapa. Lakini yes. hizi ni 12 queen. Hizi 12. Hizi ni ngapi? Sasa drive hapa itapatilika. Ehe. Uh-huh. Yeah. So uh-huh. itapatilika sababu gani? Uh-huh. Tutapanya uh, uh, calibration pia ya wape? Ya fertilizer. Ya fertilizer. So hiyo uh-huh. inaanzia wape? Inaanzia hapa. Hii ni drive na ini driven. So tutahesabu meno tena pi hapa. Tunaweza 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. So tuko na 8. Yeah. 
So tuko na nane hapo. Yeah. Na hapa tuko na 17. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 17. So tuko na 17. So kwa hii chat hapa kwa hiyo Pareto's manual tuko na chat ya fertilizer. Ini oh, seed ini, maize. Ini seed maize. Yes. Aha. Na tuko na chat ya fertilizer. Yeah. So fertilizer kwa pressure. Ha hii ni chat ya ya fertilizer. So kwa chat ya fertilizer hapa tumepewa ngapi? Tumepewa nane na 17. So tunakuja A. Tuna, sasa tuko tumemaliza A B. Tuko na C na D. So C na D tunataka na 8 na 17. So tuko na 8. 8 has ndio ya tatu hapa ni pana kalamu. Eh. Yeah. So tuko na tuko na 8 na 17. Hebu makapo. Nezaandikia? Makapo. Yeah. Oh. Hai, tuko na 8 na 17. Mm -hmm. So kwa hii planta dispensing ya fertilizer ni estimate. Kuna minimum na maximum. Sunaona so, tunapatiwa hii ni 420 ya. Yeah? Mhm. Mm This is spacing between rows. 800. Yeah? It is from 420 to 1000. Mm -hmm. See, this is 420 what? Millimeters. Mm -hmm. Divided by uh, this is 40, 42 centimeters. Mm -hmm. This is 45. 50, 50 55, 50, 55, 50, 60, 55, 60, 60, 70, 70, 70 mm -hmm. 75. Mm -hmm. So, so row spacing here to me, 75. Mm -hmm. huh? So, tunakuja kwa 75. Mm -hmm. Tukukuja kwa 75. Tukukuja hapa. Okay. Tunakuta na gap. Tunataka na kutispense. Uh, no, 96. Oh, 96. So, yes. Yeah, yeah. Tunataka na kutispense. How many kilograms? 90 90 kilo, 96 kilograms per hectare. So, kama shamba yako ni... Kama shamba yako ni... Ni... Uh, Ava Neka. That is... Uh, gap. Ava Neka. Mm. 96 divided by 2. Yo ni? <laughs> Not by 2. So, you divide by... 2.47, 0 0.5 by 2.47. Doi. Ilikuwa nafaka kutupatia 115. 100. 100. Yes. That is two so rows and one row. Two rows. For two rows, mm -hmm. it is uh, 200. So we are getting 100. That's okay. <laughs> now, this episode, you are all about calibrating the planter. And I hope you have learned as much as I have. Next week, we are going to talk about how to calibrate your sprayers. Thank you so much for watching today's shows on Kulima Tech. See you next week and remember to keep it KTN Pharmacy TV.